Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome to Quebec City. Well, um, at this moment, I'm not really in Quebec City. I'm in Levy at Quai Pocket, just across from Quebec City. And today I've decided to take you on a tour of the old Quebec City. So come along with me. But first, we have to go back to Quebec City on the ferry. To get the best view of Quebec City, hop on the ferry. We start our tour on the Plains of Abraham. I am now standing at the uh, western end of the Plains of Abraham, which are the national battlefields. Here it's a large patch of grass. You will find a soccer field, a football field. Uh, there's a roller skating track as well as a jogging track going all the way around. In the winter, there's a nice skating rink over here. And there's also a cross-country skiing track going all the way around. Both the jogging track and the roller skating rack have a length of around 1.4 kilometers. I'm now standing in front of the Musée National des Beaux-Arts du Québec. First pavilion, Gérard Morissette. It was inaugurated in 1933. At this moment, there's a Picasso exhibition at the museum. The La Sainte Pavilion was inaugurated about one or two years ago. Charles Bayarger Pavilion was annexed in 1991. For almost a hundred years, that building was Quebec's prison. Some of the former cells are still in place. This is the uh, Edwin Belanger bandstand. Uh, in the summer, sometimes there are concerts here. The Plains of Abraham, or National Battlefield, is the location where the French and British armies battled in 1759. I am now at uh, Martello Tower 1. Originally, there were four Martello Towers built by the British. This is uh, Tower 1, Tower 2 is over there, Tower 3 have been demolished and Tower 4 is on the northern side of the hill. The place I'm walking on right now is the uh, water reservoir of Quebec City. The drinking water source of Quebec City is located at uh, Lac Saint-Charles, which is a couple of kilometers north of uh, downtown Quebec. Water is brought here by uh, pipes, mostly uh, with pumps and uh, gravity. I am now in the Joan of Arc Gardens. The Joan of Arc Garden was created in 1938. In the summer, hundreds of varieties of plants ornament the flower beds. I am now on Grand Allée, uh, at the end of the 19th century. This was a high-end street. In the 60s, Many houses were demolished to make place for government buildings. And as time went on, bars and restaurants replaced the houses. And today, it's a hot spot for Quebec's nightlife. At the moment, it's calm because uh, it's 8 in the morning. The Fountain de Tourny was originally built in 1853 in France. This fountain is a gift from Quebec's businessman Peter Simons. He offered the fountain to the city for Quebec's 400th anniversary in 2008. Now I'm standing in front of uh, Quebec's Parliament. Mm -hmm. 
Quebec's parliament was inaugurated in uh, 1886. There are 26 statues on the facade. They represent explorers, missionaries, governors and political figures representing the French and English story of the province. There are also statues representing the First Nations. now standing at the location of the main stage of the Quebec Summer Festival. Quebec Summer Festival is a 10-day musical event held at the beginning of July. Performers like Metallica, Keith Urban, Pink, Lady Gaga and Muse, to name a few, perform on that stage. Click the links in the description to see how Quebec Summer Festival looks like. I am now at the Citadel. This is a fortress built by the British Army between the years uh, 1820 and uh, 1831. Today it's the home of the uh, Royal 22e Regiment, uh, which is a part of the uh, Canadian Army. It also serves as a residence for the uh, Canadian uh, Governor General. In the summer months, uh, in the morning, you can go and uh, attend the uh, change of guard. And as you can see, there's a pathway that goes all the way around the, the Stadel. It's a nice way to uh, discover the fortress. <music> St. Louis Street is the extension of the Grand Allée. It starts at the St. Louis Gate and ends at the Chateau Frontenac. The Dufresne Terrace was inaugurated in 1879. In the winter, you can slide the 250 meters track in a toboggan. In the summer, you can find many musicians performing along the terrace. A statue of Quebec's founder, Samuel de Champlain, stands at the end of the terrace. The Chateau Frontenac is Quebec City's most famous landmark. The luxurious hotel is perched atop Cape Diamond since the late 19th century. Historical events have taken place in that building and famous people have stayed there. At the end of the Dufresne Terrace, you take the stairs to access downtown. The breakneck steps was the first link between uptown and downtown. the entrance to the Quartier de Champlain. The Rue du Petit Champlain is a popular and much loved center for culture, business and leisure. The restaurants, performance venue and many small exclusive boutiques 
give a special charm to this singular street. This street is at its most beautiful during the holidays. I will now enter a place full of history. This is Place Royale. Place Royale is known to be the birthplace of French Canada. This is where it all began when Samuel de Champlain built his first habitation. The building structure is outlined in grey on the ground near the church. Place Royale has a rich history. Some of the buildings are representative of the New France period, while others show the British influences. The Notre Dame des Victoires Church was built in 1688. The church has been bombarded, rebuilt, threatened with demolition, and then renovated. walk east of Place Royale, you'll reach Rue Saint-Paul and the Old Port. Get back uptown, use the funicular right beside the breakneck steps. This is City Hall. Right by City Hall is Côte La Fabrique. There you will find many shops and boutiques and it leads to Rue Saint-Jean. Rue Saint-Jean is where business and pleasure meet. You will find many shops, restaurants and bars. In the summer, from time to time, the street become pedestrian only. I am now entering uh, Place Duville, which for the summer change a little bit. Place Duville transform into a beach for the summer. There are three show venues at Place Duville. There's Le Diamant, which opened recently, uh, I think uh, last year. There's Le Capitole. And the third one is Palais Montcalm. In the winter months, the place where the beach stands right now becomes a nice skating rink. It's here that I will conclude this vlog. As you can see, there's a lot of places to visit in Quebec City. Uh, and believe me, there's so much more you can discover in that city. Uh, Quebec City has so much to offer. Many of the information I gave you today comes from the city's website. I will put the link to the website uh, in the description down below. I hope that you enjoyed that visit. If you did, please give a thumbs up. I want to also invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. Until the next vlog, ciao, bye.